candidates in the 2022 Philippine presidential election. 1. Abella, Ernie Independent Ernie Abella, 72, is a businessman, writer, and pastor who is a longtime supporter of President Rodrigo Duterte. He also briefly served as the president's spokesperson. He is running as an independent candidate, seeking to promote the participation of ordinary citizens and small entrepreneurs in governance, better access to food and healthcare services to children and senior citizens. 2. De Guzman, Leody Partido Lacas and G. Masa Leody de Guzman, 61, is an activist and labor leader who has pushed for policies to secure the rights and welfare of workers since 1984. He ran for senator in 2019 under the tagline Mangagawanamum but failed to secure a seat. He currently sits as chairperson of the book Luran ng Mangagawang Filipino, a socialist labor center and federation of militant trade unions. 3. Do Magaso, Isco Moreno Axion Democratico Francisco Isco Moreno de Magaso is the incumbent mayor of the city of Manila. After serving as the capital city's vice mayor from 2007 to 2016, he ran for senator but failed to secure a seat. He was then appointed by President Rodrigo Duterte as chairman of the board of the North Luzon Railways Corporation and later, undersecretary at the Department of Social Welfare and Development. 4. Gonzalez, Norberto Partido Democrático Socialista Filipinas Norberto B. Gonzalez, 74, is an avowed democratic socialist, whose long career spans activism and union organizing, peace talks negotiation and national security advisor, defense secretary and presidential chief of staff appointments under the Gloria Macapagal Arroyo administration. He chairs the Philip Negation Fine Democratic Socialist Party, which has roots in the protest movement in the 1970s and participated in the mass campaigns against the Marcos dictatorship, peace talks with the Maro National Liberation Front and the ouster of President Joseph A. Hercito Estrada. 5. Loxon, Ping Independent Ping Loxon, 73 has served in the legislative and executive branches of the government for over 40 years. He is currently serving his third term in the Senate. Lokson has authored laws such as the Controversial Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020, the Philippine Identification System Act of 2018, and the Reproductive Health Act of 2011. He has long served as a watchdog on the national budget, pushing to delete pork barrel and other questionable insertions during plenary Senate debates. 6. Mangandato, Faisal Katapun and NG Kamalaya Kayab Mongi Faisal Mangandato is a businessman who is running as the standard bearer of the Katapun and in Kamalaya Kayab Mongi party. He was born in Ramindizan, Lanao del Sur, and currently resides in Marawi City. 7. Marcos, Bongbong Bong. Partido Federal NG Pilipinas Ferdinand Bongbong Bong Marcos Jr., 64, son and namesake of the late ousted dictator, was elected unopposed into vice gubernatorial seats in Ilocos Norte at the height of his father's regime in 1980, and eventually into congressional seats representing the same province after his family's return to the Philippines in 1991. He also served as a senator from 2010 to 2016 before losing a bid for higher office to Vice President Lenny Robredo in the 2016 elections. 8. Montemayor Jose Jr. Democratic Party of the Philippines Jose Montemayor Jr. works primarily as a cardiologist at major hospitals. He claims to bring a medical, legal and economics background to the presidential race and his first campaign for public office. 9. Pacquiao, Manny Pac-Man Abad Prombi Manny Pacquiao is a Philippine legislator who has served in both chambers of Congress since 2010. 
he first gained acclaim as a world-class champion boxer and juggled his careers as a public official and athlete until 2021 when he announced his retirement from the sport. The boxer turned legislator is also a preacher and founded the Church Word for Everyone Ministries International Incorporated in 2012. 10. Robretto, Lenny Independent Lenny Robretto, 56, is currently serving as the 14th Vice President of the Philippines. Her office has garnered the highest audit rating from the Commission on Audit for three consecutive years, 2018 to 2020, and has been recognized by Malacanang for its pandemic response programs across the country.